Uh, I did have a question that you kind of made me think about an earlier episode we had. You talked about like watching the game at home and it being enjoyable. I was wondering if you had a chance to check out the Apple TV broadcast yet since uh, Apple signed an exclusive deal for like Friday night games on on Apple TV. Uh, Have you had a chance to check that out yet, Dominic? You know, I've had a chance to check out very briefly, and I got to say it was the poorest broadcast I ever seen in my life. You know, those announcers have no clue in the world what baseball even is, it seems. And why, why Friday night? Friday night is the best night to watch sports. And they ruined it. They, they ruined it so bad, it's embarrassing. I don't get why anyone thought that would be a good idea to have Apple TV broadcast games on Friday night. So, so many people now cannot even watch the game because it's on Apple TV. And it's the most annoying thing ever. I've seen a lot of clips from it. Twitter's blowing up about it. It's the it's the dumbest thing ever. And those announcers, I don't know about you guys. I never heard of any of those people in my life. They could have got better known people. You're telling me that no one else could have fit in at least a better person in at least one of those announcer spots. I could do a better job announcing than those people, 100. percent I mean, um, it's a, it's we were not contacted game. by Apple, so we we feel disrespected. <laughs> Yeah, Adam is a big Apple supporter. Has Apple TV and Apple watches, and I know. have an Apple iPhone. I have a lot of Apple stuff. <laughs> yeah. So one thing about Apple: my living room TV could pick up the broadcast. My bedroom TV, which I do have the Apple TV app on it, was not able to pick up the the, the game for some reason. So it's like, okay, I have the Apple app on two TVs. Half of them work. What's the point? I mean, there there is no point. It, yeah. I agree with Dominic. It was pure awful. I mean, it was just awful from start to finish. Yeah, it's embarrassing for the sport. It's like listening. It's like listening to Joe Buck on steroids. It's horrible. <laughs> it's scary. It gave me nightmares. I hated it. I I, I was telling Adam. Uh, I I missed like I had it. The Mets were on like one of them early, and I missed it. Uh, cause I don't have Apple TV. Uh, I found a, I found a way to watch the broadcast, uh, a couple of Fridays ago and I was texting Adam. I'm like, this is terrible, man. I'm like, I don't even know what they're talking about right now. They weren't even talking about baseball. You know, uh, it was, it was a guy in, in, in a, in a woman and they were just, just having this chit chat. And I wasn't even sure what was happening. I was like, I think I recognize the one of the guys is a former player, but I couldn't be a hundred percent. But yeah, I'm with you, Dominic. And I I went off when that deal got signed. I was not happy for exactly the reasons you said. You know, you're limiting your audience 100%. to pretty much half of America who doesn't have Apple TV, and MLB is just like money grabbing. You know, gotta so, get the money. Gotta get the money. I was, I was just about to say that it's all about money these days and it's very sad because so many fans especially friday nights you know everyone's preparing for the weekend everyone's home chilling out all pumped up they want to see baseball and especially new york yankees baseball the new york yankees no matter where you go in the world you could be in texas you could be in hong kong you could be in berlin no matter where you are you will always see someone with the new york yankees hat knowing who the new york yankees are and they just took that away from so many people on friday nights and it's very sad to say